And thanks so much for staying with us here in the big show. 4-H clubs offer a variety of experiences to introduce young people to everything from livestock to forestry and so much more. This spring, Jackson County 4-H is introducing new programs to the community. Kimberly Gowdy and Shelby Hudson right here, right now to unveil some of the activities heading to our area. Good to see both of you and thanks for coming by and being with us today. Thanks for having Kimberly, me. Kimberly, are kids still as interested, uh, youngsters, teenagers, as interested in 4-H as they used to be? Because I know 4-H used to be huge. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And what we're trying to do is try to get kids more involved outside. You know, we're, we're finding out a problem that most of our kids now are on the telephones or watching TV and aren't spirits in the outside. So we're trying to develop new programs to get them outside, enjoy nature, and be one with, with the communities. Yeah, well, we love that, the environment, especially mm -hmm. down here in coastal Mississippi. Uh, Shelby, you know, traditionally 4-H, uh, probably more with farming, agriculture, mm -hmm. livestock, but you're really branching on. You have some cool sounding stuff you're gonna be introducing. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna be introducing our, our kayak club, um, our sports fishing and junior master gardeners. Of course, we're going into the springtime, hopefully trying to get uh, young people to learning where does their food come from. It does not just show up at the store. It so doesn't? It, no, it does not. <laughs> Why, all, this, all these years, I thought it just showed up at the yes. grocery and so store. We want to teach them how to um, grow their own food and because you can never take that knowledge away. Yeah. Um, and they can hopefully grow, grow up and, and then maybe be farmers. When You never know. And Kimberly, uh, we're talking about rough, what age group here when we're talking about introducing youngsters to 4-H and everything. So we service kids from ages 5 to 18 years of age. For these particular programs here, you can be 8 and above um, for our sports fishing and our junior master gardeners. Now for our kayaking program, because they're a little bit more involved, we require you to be 10 years of age. Okay. By January 1st. And you're going to be introducing these, unveiling these uh, tomorrow. Tell us a little bit about the program. What can people expect? So we're, we'll be holding uh, an interest meeting tomorrow at the Audubon Center um, at 6, 5.30. That's over in Moss Point. Mm -hmm. yes. Be beautiful place. Yes. Yes. Been to the yes. We'll be introducing these programs, you know, what their requirements are, what uh, the youth will need to sign up for. Um, so that way we have a better understanding of how many kids to expect and we can go through our pr planning process after that setting meeting times and that type of thing. Okay, well there you go. The particulars have magically appeared on your television set. So tomorrow from 5.30 to 6.30 at the Pascagoula River Audubon Center. As I said, if you haven't been there, it's beautiful. You can find out more about these new programs being introduced by the Jackson County 4-H. Kimberly Shelby, thanks for being with us today and a good luck. We hope a lot of youngsters turn out. Yes, please come out tomorrow and all through these programs are free.